Okay, this is a quick video to talk about accessing an LSpec black box G4430 which is on the net. Uh, basically I recommend uh, using Internet Explorer rather than Firefox for this. So double click on Internet Explorer. Now once that's fired up Uh, once that's ready, you can just open it up. Now, uh, if you have the IP address of the uh, <coughs> black box that you want to go to, you can just type it straight into your web page. For example, I know what it is. 138.77.71. Now, this is a dynamically assigned address, which means as soon as the unit's unplugged and replugged back in, there's a fair chance that it will get a new IP address. So we'll talk about that uh, in a moment. But here we go. Now this is over next. So any computer on the same network uh, can access this. Now there's a pa three digit passcode there. It's just one, two, three. And that's for a guest login. Now and it, there's an administrator password where you can actually change settings. And that's a different password. So we're just going on the uh, guest and choose login. So this is real-time data uh, being measured by the LSpec black box G4430, and you can go through all the, all the different monitoring, all the different various um, uh, measurements of power. You've got energy measurement, power quality, uh, service. This is um, to do with uh, the setting up of the LSpec black box. Um, such as firmware upgrade, network status, uh, PQ zip status. PQ zip is how the data is uh, recorded and can be downloaded uh, with a program called PQ SCADA. And you also use LSpec Investigator to analyze that data. And I'll talk about that in a separate video. Um, and you've got multi IO and LCD, which is a virtual representation of the uh, an, uh, separate unit which is an LCD panel which can be also plugged into the LSpec black box for remote monitoring or lo sorry local monitoring. So we'll just go back here for a minute. I wanted to, sh the key point of this video is um, the display of the waveforms and phases. So if I just go in here just wait. Now what you'll find is uh, internet will block something, I'll block ActiveX. So what you can do is you've got to download the standalone installer. So click download. Run. Run. Okay. Now you've got to close Internet Explorer and then restart it again. Type in the IP address of the unit and it's obviously remembered it so I'll just click on that. Again uh, we'll do the guest login. Go to waveforms. There you go. It wants to block it. Do you want to accept that? You click on that run add-on, run, login again, wait for a while, okay I just have to wait for a moment, okay so waited there for a while, go back to waveforms, And there you go. Now this this signal right now, just like V1, is just noise. It's a very small voltage. You can see that it's just noise, but the main frequency is 50 hertz. Now that problem before about uh, connection logins r limit reached. I believe there's a limit to how many.
people can log into the sales spec black box at the same time. It may be only like two or three people. But anyway, the main point of this video was showing you how to get these waveforms up on the screen.